Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 14 in my Anno 1800 Let's Play. Now, in the last episode, we largely focused on Ambassa so that we could begin settling the other islands there. We've gotten the materials to do so now, so once we've grabbed two more islands kind of quickly, we're then going to be refocusing our efforts to further grow in the Old World and in Cape Trelawney. So you may remember at the very tail end of the last episode, we had just settled this island here in order to grab the indigo fertility. Now we're going to need to grab the other two islands fairly quickly, and before anyone else does, to grab lobster abundance and then I think it's bee fertility. So let's just transfer here. We've actually just gotten eight mud bricks, which is perfect. Uh, that's exactly the amount we need. And we'll just head down to the southernmost island down here. This has lobster abundance. It's the only place left with lobster abundance. And that's going to be needed for the Embesson Seafood Stew for the Elders. Sorry, not Embesson. I guess everyone's Embesson. But the Elders Seafood Stew. Then up on the eastern island, we have bee abundance. And that's going to be needed for beeswax uh, for the candles and the lanterns. And that's the final thing that they need. So that's going to be for seafood stew when there's 300 elders. And then when there's 1,000 elders, we'll need uh, lanterns. So quite a ways off. Once we get these islands and we have them safe and sound, I'm largely going to be moving away from Mbessa for a while. Because we won't be too worried about anyone encroaching on our space. No one's going to go to war for us, uh, war with us for it. At least I don't expect so. Uh, and we ran a vote on the YouTube channel for where should I focus more next, either Trelawney or Mbessa, because we could kind of do either quest chains. You know, we could do the quest chains here or the ones that are in Cape Trelawney. And we had a 52% vote for Trelawney, so really, really close. And there was only about a couple hours where that vote was actually live and 300 people voted. Uh, I should have thought of it ahead of time, really, to get a greater say in the matter. But that's where I'm gonna. That's kind of what I'm gonna be following. We're gonna go to Cape Trelawney for the next few episodes and kind of build that up as well as things in the old world. So that's my, my reasoning there. Now, people have been asking, are you going to go to war with Lady Margaret? Are you going to fight for Pride Rock? I'd really, really rather avoid war as much as I can in this series. It's not interesting to watch. I'm telling you now, because we've streamed this game. I've streamed this game quite a bit. And when war happens, it might be fun for the player, but it is not fun to watch camera hopping around to different like little battles and... It, once you've seen a couple of ships fighting, you've kind of seen everything that can ever happen. So it, in my opinion, war really is not that interesting or exciting. Because when you take an island, the island just gets wiped clean. You know, it's not like some big spectacle or anything terribly interesting. Now, I'm not saying that we're never going to have war. Um, maybe at some point in the future we will. But right now, I've built up the relations of everybody pretty high. 100 for Lady Margaret, 100 for Anne Harlow. Uh... Arthur would probably be the most likely war candidate that we'd have, considering his reputation is a bit lower. So, maybe against him or something. What I want to start doing in this episode is actually starting to buy shares in Margaret's territories. Because uh, she makes, obviously, lots of money. Her main island, I think, if we have a look at the old world really quickly, we're going to buy one of the shares in this episode today. 1.2 million, that's what we're going to do. And we can make that money pretty quickly, because Embessa... Emperor Katima is looking to buy. Shaborim. He's looking to buy of Splendor. pocket watches for 13,300 per ton and 2,700 per ton of penny farthings. So that's a huge amount. And the good news is, actually, just hang on one sec. Benty is beating us to this island. And actually, we're going to just get there right before her, I think. Take Again. Slamming it down right ahead of her. Oh, we need influence. Oops. Your ship has returned from its voyage. It is much admired. Okay, good. So basically what I just did there was I jumped to the old world really quickly. I sold a share that we have in Benty's Island, there. which gives us back 10 influence, and I use that now to just settle here. We'll get the influence back uh, in not too long. So we're still going to be waiting on mud bricks over here, so that's fine. All right, well, at least we got the island. That's good. And she's probably going to head up to the bean-shaped one now. She's heading that way. So she might ask us to settle it before she does. That would be the ideal case. Anyways, so like I said, pocket watches and penny farthings is what we want to set up to sell here. And the good news is, is that over in the old world, while we didn't pay attention too much here in the last episode, we are making just a, huge, from its a huge excess of almost everything. Uh, so loads of things are just full up. To be honest, we should just build another uh, depot really quickly. Do we actually even have one? I don't think we do. That could be why. So let's just get a depot here for now. That's just going to increase storage and allow us to store up a bit more. The other thing I'm going to do is 
this person needs to be dropped off down here. So that's for the uh, framework knitters. I'm just going to rename this ship as well. It's a pirate ship, so we can name it the Francis Drake. It's a famous pirate. So we'll name that the Francis Drake. Anyway, once I drop this person off, we're going to send the pirate ship down into the pirate cove. We're going to buy 150 gold. And instead of setting up gold production and all of that ourselves, we're just going to buy it from the pirates, from Anne Harlow. And then we're going to use that to, to set up our goldsmiths and sell the pocket watches back to Enbessa and make absolute bank. That's the idea anyway. So we'll just send the ship over here now. Let the sails fill. Interestingly, there's actually a little pirate frigate that we could buy. And they've also got a quest for us. Let's see what the quest is. I'll put you on trial. There should be, be more booty here. I'm sure of it. Go back to that spot and see if there isn't more left of that wimpy trader. A collection quest. Shake the tree, see what falls. Flotsam all the way up here. We'll send our other pirate ship up here. Steer us and we could call this one the, I don't know, William Cook. It's another famous one. All right, cool. So I got basically big plans, big ambitions. The other thing that we can do is ah, we could yes. just straight up the buy pocket watches stepping. here and sell them to Katima for more. So this, they sell, we can buy them from Archibald for 8,320 and they, I think they sell to Katima for what, was it 11,000 or 13? 13. So we'll make five grand per turn, per ton, just delivering them here, basically. So not setting up any production chains, that's a great way to do it, right? So let's get a ship to head out here immediately. Actually, we've got one right here. Finally let go that pent up gas. Very expensive to do this. So we'll just load up 50 for now, right? We'll take it easy and build our way up. I was just checking that notification. That's fine. So. Startling brush-footed butterflies. No, she These wants to settle the island. To I'm going to say no. Them. Thanks for asking me, but you're definitely not going to do that. All right, let's go to Tabarim. Off you go. More than so I should have made a log of that. I mean, I don't really have to. I guess I could just see how much Ever it would be, right? Piece of... One piece underwear suits. A two prickly. I Let me just open. Shorts and vests to be, tried and true. be quiet, Archibald. I've just opened a calculator. Uh, so I'm just going to do 50 times... 8320 and that is 416,000 is what we've bought it for okay so 416,000 we'll see how much we sell it for just to make up the difference and see what's see what we're actually getting a, out of it there all right the last thing we want to do in Ambassador really is god Benty's not happy i mean i i can't blame her ready for a challenge let's just pick up that 8 again just before anyone else gets out here Come up and settle this island. And that should be then Mbessa done. We don't have to focus here for a while. And we just come here to sell things. Uh, and hopefully if we keep everyone's relations high, that should be fine. Alright. So let's go back to the old world for a while. And once we set up some of the industry that I want to get going here, then we're going to go to Cape Trelawney and build it out. And our money should be should start rolling in pretty nicely, I think. So, what we we've actually got a little riot going on. Hmm. Oh, I don't think any police station can really get to that. But what we can do is just ease up on the conditions. That should that should make it go away, I think. Because I don't think it's going to spread. We'll see. <laughs> it should be fine. All right. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is set up steam motors. So let's see where they are. There they are here. Steam motors. Our penny farthings are here. Right, actually, sorry, the first thing I want to do is set up an actual trade route, right? So, trade routes, we want to go between Swords and Ambassa Emperor Katima. And we're going to pick up consumer goods, three lots of penny farthings, so 150 tons, and then one lot of gold pocket watches. And we're just going to sell them all there. And we'll add a ship to this. Let's see, anyone in the Old World? Is that the Old World symbol? I think it is. Can't remember now. I'm pretty sure it is. Cool, just got a ship waiting here. I'll just call this the Old World to uh, Enbessa. What is it? Special goods? Katimas. Katima. Old World to Enbessa Katima, right? And that's what we're selling there. Perfect. So let's just open our port and just say here. 
Just set a minimum stock, obviously don't want to go below that. And then gold wa um, pocket watches. Well, actually, we don't need to set a minimum for them, they're fine. So, when we activated Old Nate's vaccine in this town hall, we added more residents to the engineers, and that has now opened up the ability to get coffee, and it's opened up the ability to get pocket watches and build them ourselves. We didn't previously have that unless we built more engineers ourselves, but this is a little quick way without getting extra housing to actually open up a new production chain. So, we, ha we should have loads of glass, uh, from what I remember, because we did build more glass. Let's see. Yeah, there's 300 on the island, so we'd hit our limit. So we can build a goldsmith, and we can build steam motors. So let's get the steam motors going first. I was going to put it near the brass. So let's just cut this road real quick. Kind of include it in the ironworks area, because the brass smeltery is right at the back of it. There should be enough of both, I think. Um, or we might have to increase steel a little bit, I, I, if I can remember correctly. So steel, let's just throw it up to... Um, let's just do 33 and see how, we, see how we're doing then. So if we have a look at intermediate products, steel. We're ju ah, we're just short. So it's all pretty close, we're just short. This might cause a riot, but we'll have to just feel it out, see how it goes. If we keep people happy, then it should be fine. So that's 40. Now, increasing that is going to put demand on this. So I'm going to say, let's just whack this the full way up and see how that, see how we handle that. So raw material, that's almost perfect, actually. We just have a little bit more than we need. But that's probably better than not having enough. Um, okay, is that good? I think that's good. Oh, but we also put a strain on coal, don't we? So we have to think of that. So rush and swords, coal comes from rush. We're at 12. So we're only two tons short. So what will fix that? Instead of... Well, let me just see. I think we're already increasing there. Yeah, they're already on 50%. Okay, so we can't get more out of them. So our, we've maxed out our coal mines, basically, is what I'm saying. So what we need to do then is we'll just build... Um, a charcoal kiln down here. And just feed that in. Into there. And that should fix it, I think. Yeah, that provides two. So that's 14 to 14. So we're actually just slightly under, but that's probably fine. If, if every now and then we chug out a little bit of coal, uh, we run out of coal just for, you know, a moment, that's fine. For now. <laughs> we'll fix it all later, obviously. That's the way it always goes. It's all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan. <laughs> so we've put down the steam motors, which is costing us a huge amount. It costs us 1,800 just to run that building. And then the next thing we want to do is build, is get the gold and goldsmiths going. But we need to actually buy gold. Now, gold we can buy in the Pirate Cove. Time the rigging. Quite expensive. Um, but let's have a look at what we can get. So we can't even get a hundred. But we could get it started. So let's just buy 50 for now. 138,000. And we're going to bring this 50 gold up here. And if I remember correctly, I believe um, Goldsmiths operates at 40 seconds or something? 45? Yeah, 45 seconds. So the good thing here is that that riot, by the way, is so frustrating. <laughs> They're just constantly on the riot noise. If you lower conditions enough of the, these guys, it should make them ease up a bit. I wonder how much extra fish we have. We've got loads of fish. Let's just calm the fish down a bit as well. That should ease them up. If you make them happy enough, then that should go away. It's not spreading. I was right. It's not near enough other things to spread. It's just one household basically saying they're not going to work. Anyways, um... I can't remember what I was going to say about the clockmakers, but yeah, let's just throw it down somewhere here as well. Somewhere where there, it needs electricity actually to work. Now that's kind of an expensive building to run as well, 1,300. But once the gold gets, once the gold arrives, we have plenty of glass. Um, then we should be able to start making pocket watches and starting that, uh, se you know, selling it to Mbessa. So if we have a look at trade routes, you think I'd forgotten you, did you? We've loaded up the 150 penny farthing, so obviously we could have loaded up more, but just for now, that's I guess that's fine because eventually we will have the, the um, goldsmith and the uh, pocket watches. Sorry. I prefer my tools sharp. All right, people are getting unhappy with this. Um, what's next? Let's see. Coffee. Oh, yeah. 
Now, instead of se setting up coffee, we're just going to buy that as well. <laughs> we're just going to buy everything for now. But wait until you see. This will get us all stable. Everything will be great. Let's pick, do our pickup quest. On our way. Pirate booty. And we'll bring that back down to Anne. We're going to buy that share from Margaret. Just you wait and see. How much is this ship? 40,000, but we need four influence for it. I don't have the influence. Okay. And where's our gold? Has our gold ship come back up yet? Almost there. Pirate ship full of gold. The Francis Drake. Shout out to Uncharted as well. This guy's got a quest. Let's see if we can do this. I must use others I've been receiving some critique as of late that I've never to taken to heart. Oh, that I've taken rather to heart. I think I need someone to massage my ego to tell me I'm wonderful, even though I know it already. I keep a little circle of adult uh, adulators I like to call upon for such occasions. Bring them here safely so I can hear my name spoken on glowing terms once more. Off you go. Pick up Gasparov worshippers. We'll do that when we deliver one of these things. Great. All right, let's jump over to Mbessa. And let's hop back out real quickly here. Did I actually ever settle that island? I can't remember. No, I didn't. Ah, we need the influence again, of course. Um, so let's just sell some more shares here from Benti. Sell it to the we queen. She can buy them back if she wants. It's not very optimal doing that, but... It gives us the influence we need just temporarily to get this going. Amazing. You know what All right, so we've locked them. down Mbessa completely now. Oh, that's a quest. I don't want to interact with that, actually, at the moment. All right, let's get back to the old world. Or, sorry, the uh, overview map and just see where our where our journey is beginning. So there it is. A hundred and, so, yeah, 150 penny farthings are on the way. I just want to see how much money we're going to get with that. And our uh, pocket watches are on the way as well. So I'm just going to open that calculator again. So we should be getting 400,000... Oh, no, I made a mistake, didn't I? Let's see. Yeah, so we just bought the pocket watches for 416,000. So how much are we going to sell them for? We're going to sell 50 times 13312. So we, sh we should make 665,000, making a profit of about 200k. So that's pretty nice. It it's a small amount for now, but that's it's definitely worth it. So we're going to make a profit of 200k. But then, when we sell 150 penny farthings we're gonna make another 400,000 so that should bring us up to over a million straight away so we're really close to actually buying the um, shares straight off the bat but instead what I'm gonna do is buy more gold and buy more pocket watches and then just repeat this process basically <laughs> so let's see how that goes Okay, anyway, back to the old world. Deliver the pirate booty, so that's happening right now. Let's just make it daytime again. And then we'll have a look at our... Oh yeah, the gold should be here now, so we can start the goldsmith production. Great, we'll just send this ship back down here. Actually, we do this one for uh, Arthur. Great, alright. I hope this all makes sense, okay? So, long story short... What we're essentially doing is, instead of building production chains, I'm relying on NPCs to provide us with the goods that we need. Then, from the extra stuff that we produce that we don't need to use, I'm shipping it off to Enbessa to sell for a lot of money. Namely, penny farthings and pocket watches. Pocket watches can be consumed here, and they will be a little bit. We could pause that, but I'm actually going to just let them consume it. It makes us money anyway. Uh, and that should kind of offset some of the negative balance that we have at first. And then when we eventually buy a share, we should be, for lack of, um, not to use a pun, but we should be golden. You are Hang not without intensity. What is this? Target place here. Whose quest is it? Whose quest is it that leads me to Lady Mar Lady Margaret's thing? Oh, here, let me read these. Deliver to Anne Harlow. Deliver to deliver to Harlow's Prickly Clipper. Yeah, that's fine. 
pick up his worshippers. Hmm. Done the deed, what did you just ask me as well? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ready to hand that one in. Okay. More than ready. I'm just a bit confused at why that's there. Got away with it this time. I'm trying to think of. It looks like it's like a quest in progress. Sorry if I'm being stupid, but yeah, I just can't Try quite remember. The, the dream holds. All right, he's given us the five people. Oh, we're picking. Oh, it's just other people to pick up from that. Okay, that's what I was. I was kind of thinking that, but I just wasn't sure. I just had to make sure. So basically, Arthur, we're picking up multiple people across like different things across different ships. So one of them just happens to be outside of um, Lady Margaret's place. Right. Anyways, we were gonna pick up some uh, coffee. Just Coffee's pretty cheap, actually, if you buy it from Madame Gehina. Uh, much cheaper than setting up your own production chains. So 30,000 will give us 150 coffee. And that should basically satiate demand for quite a long time. We could actually, you could look at that if you wanted to know, like, how long is that going to last me? You go to consumer goods, scroll down in the statistics screen, and you can see that the demand is two. So that's two tons per minute. So we're pick we just picked up 150. So I don't, you need to do the math on that. I'm not very smart. Something like, what is it, 75? Will last us like an hour or something like that, I think. I think. So, yeah, I think it would last us an hour, just over an hour. I could be wrong. I could be way off, but it'll last a while. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Basically, it should last long enough for her to get this replenished back up to 150 again. Uh, but obviously, as you get more and more engineers, then it's like, well, you need more than 150 and she won't replenish it fast enough. So you can't rely on that forever. But in the beginning, rather than setting up a production chain like building everything out in the old world for coffee, this is just a kind of a quicker way to do it. And it'll, it's just like a quick and easy way to get some money as well. So 30,000. So the money that they provide back, considering how long it'll last, partially offsets the amount we bought it for. Probably just breaks even, to be honest. I don't think it would make that much more. Oops. So there they go, they got coffee now. The great thing as well is we're also using the vaccine to get those extra residents, but then we can satiate the demand for uh, coffee now because we got that vaccine going. So the vaccine basically unlocked the ability to give them coffee. Now we can give them coffee and when the vaccine runs out, we'll actually have already gained four extra engineers per household and some more money. So it's kind of like a cheaty, a little quick way of getting ahead of the amount without having the actual amount of houses that you need. So it's kind of interesting way of doing things. I've never I've never used it before, that vaccine or anything, but it's worked out quite nicely. Ceasefire has ended. All right, we've got 11 of them now. Is there any more? Oh, just Let bring the them back. Simple as that. Hmm. Okay. Should I scrub that mark from your name? So we still haven't actually sold the stuff in Ambassador just yet. So we'll just sell these pocket watches. 665,000. Go back to the old world, please. And then uh, our money's getting better as well, which is nice. Perhaps you can bear this torch. She offers me a collection quest. Absolutely. I hope you find it illuminating. Now, we're on 100 relations with her. I wonder, should I try to buy her share so and know, then complete the quest? No stopping vengeance. So that'll be all the gold that we need for a long time. Now just smuggle it out. So that's basically, yeah, that's... Same thing that we're doing with the coffee we can do there. So I'll take a picture. Of that. I'll read that quest in a moment. So if we have a look... Um, at... Gold. The gold demand is one ton per minute, and we just gave, we just landed 150, or we will be landing 150. So 100 faces, so 150 minutes, so just over two hours, uh, two and a half hours really, basically. Yeah, so it's gonna last two and a half hours that purchase. That's awesome. Okay, great. If that's correct, <laughs> I guess it is, right? I mean, the demand is one ton per minute, and we have 150. So generally speaking, that's two and a half hours before we have to buy gold again. And that's just going to be making pocket watches. So pretty great. Um, so in, in two and a half hours, we'll have made 150 pocket watches that we'll be selling for, as you can see, 6, 12, 8, uh, 1.8 million. Not bad. Not bad. If we can get that done. Um, okay, so what's next? We're going back to Arthur. We've got the coffee. We've built the charcoal kiln, so all that's good. Steam motors are on the way now as well. Did we build steam motors? Did I forget to do that? 
No, we've got steam motors coming as well now. Excellent. So with steam motors, we can actually start making steam ships and build cargo ships as well. Steam motors actually sell for a decent amount. Uh-oh. All right. Whoops. Uh, let me see. Let's press the ceasefire. I also have my wife and children to think about. Another thing we could do, thinking about it now, is peace. Oh, we can hold our own. Two thousand eight hundred for peace. Will be glad to hear it. And sixty-one relations trade. Let's up the ante. Eight thousand. What could Excellent. possibly go wrong? There we go. Trade rights with pretty much everybody except Arthur. Not bad. Um, so 71. Now to keep his, keep him happy, we actually have to give him something. The issue here is that he has the exact same goods, I think, as... Oh, another pirate ship we could buy. I told you I was peaceful. Kind of tempting to buy it, actually. Oh, look how much money we have. We dropped off the penny farthings, by the way. We need eight influence. Is it the same? It looks... I think it might be the same as the other pirate ships. Although it's red. I don't know if that's different. Let's just check our ones. This is blue. I'm guessing the trim is just based on the fact that my colors are blue. I'm guessing. Because otherwise it's pretty tempting to buy. Oh no, it's just, I think it's the same. But it would be kind of cool to have one. I want to build a big pirate fleet. They're better than our regular ships, ship of the line, so it's kind of cool to get them. Anyways, he's selling gold and guns and sails as well. And he's I buying the same things progress. as on Harlow. All right, let's just hand in this quest really quickly. This is uh, back to Arthur. I am glad to bring meaning to people's lives. I. Okay, good. Um, I'll just move that back here. So, sorry to be jumping around so much. We will just focus on Cape Trelawney a little later in the episode. What I want to do though now is we want to buy 150 gold again. Keep up, Constance. Need a little bit more influence. Okay, to get more influence, let's go to Cape Trelawney. And uh, very quickly, let's just build some... I'm going to be moving this later, but let's just right now build some quick clothes to get people set up. Something like that. Uh, something like this. And this should basically just grow our population just a small amount, just to give us enough that we might have to get the next influence bracket. We need 200 more population to get 15 more influence. Okay. And then I'll reveal my plans for this area. We're not just going to keep it with this grid. This will all be destroyed. <laughs> this is just to give me some more influence very quickly. Alright, so that should sort that out. Cool. Now let's read um, Lady Margaret's knowledge of his power. An unknown party has recently docked at Madame Kahina's harbor. Margaret Hunt wants to know who they are, and more importantly, whose side they're on. So photograph a cargo ship. Now, I'm going to wait until we're about five more minutes into that i'm at i'm at one million we've just hit by the way so we must be selling stuff all the time i guess or did was some shares bought nope so that's just from dropping off different things it's good and uh we're making a little bit more money are they getting their gold pocket watches now they are excellent good brilliant everything's just working <laughs> it just works steam motors are on the way as well so we can start making those ships fairly soon. Um, we'll have to build a steam shipyard for that. Steam shipyard would be good here just because this is the only area I think that can actually reach um, electricity. So I have to build it here. It needs electricity to get going. It looks really cool, but unfortunately, we're just kind of slamming it down for now in a kind of a crappy area. That should be the electricity it needs, and that is oil tankers and cargo ships that we can build now, because we have 20 steam motors. Now, the other thing we can use steam motors for, uh, quite importantly, is the tractors to put on farms for bright harvest and really min-max our uh, fields. And that'll be perfect for in Cape Trelawney. 
when we want to have like big fields out there. So we can build them from the ground up with tractors in mind. Ah, she did buy a share just now here. I don't think so. Good that we noticed that. Yeah, okay, cool. Not a big deal. Nice, there's the ship under construction. Looks awesome. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so we just made pi friends with the pirates La Fortuna. Now, something I've been doing with the rum trade route is actually dropping off the excess rum at Anharlo. But I'm going to change that now. We'll add it. To, we'll change it to him instead, and that way we'll constantly be giving him something and keeping relations high. And Harlow likes us because we're always giving her beer, and uh, Jean La Fortune will like us because we'll always be giving him rum, the excess bits of rum that we have. So that should help things. So let's add him into this out here. Let's go sell, 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 and then just remove this and accept it. Okay, so. All the rum is going to go to swords, and then anything left over, which there is stuff left over quite frequently. If we just jump to the ship uh, real quick. Actually, we can see it right there. Still got some on it. Yeah, we've got like, I don't know, 26. Not that much, but then there's obviously going to be another ship coming in with some as well. Uh, there's that gold we can drop off as well, so I'm not going to be running out of that anytime soon. Let's head back down here in case we want to buy some items. Let's head towards... Eli Bleakworth, in case you want to buy items. We're up to 900,000 now. We're really in the big leagues for money. I love it. Well, kind of. <laughs> Pull up your braces Having come all the way from the equator, the I don't blame them for, fe for feeling a little chilly. For feeling the chill, sorry. Her Majesty will be most vexed if we don't warm them up. A delivery Jolly quest. Roger. He wants 20 fur coats. Easy. All right, great. We're almost up to 10,400. How are we doing with the engineers? Good. So to get to a bank, the next phase, we need 3,000. It's like a huge jump. And power as well. There's 1,750. We could supply them with power. We'll need more oil for that. So that's why you need to get those oil tankers up and running anyway before we can give them oil for... Uh, housing, because we're always all, already using the oil in the industry. All right, man, this has been fun. Okay, so what else is left on my list? Nothing really. Um, one thing I, I've been meaning to do, I actually wrote down, but I forgot to actually do it, was build a police station out here, just in case. Just in case they get a little rowdy. Right next to the market. Um, I, I don't know if I said it in this episode or not, but I'm thinking of moving this entire town out here as well, actually, because the rivers are here, the fertility is here, so we could make this, we could irrigate all this soil, or a lot of it, and then move the town along the mountain and out the side. It'd be a better place for it, because you don't need water for the Your town, other than just, like, the, the fire. Um, what's it called? Fire stations? So I it makes a lot more sense to me that you'd have it out there. People keep buying my shares, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Stop it. Um, okay, so next thing to do. I think, I think I'm pretty much done setting up all the routes and setting up everything. I'm just going to go over it one last time, what we've just done. So, we're now making gold pocket watches. Let's go to consumer goods, check out how many we've got. 13. We're going to be picking up the penny farthings, picking up the gold pocket watches. I'm going to leave a reserve of one. Because we're not consuming them that... Actually, two. Let's just say two. I'm not consuming them that fast. As long as we leave a minimum stock of two, we'll still get the money from them here. Um, we just set up the... Yeah, let's just improve that. We set up the steam motors, so that seems good. Nothing seems to be running out. We've got brass, we've got steel, that's all good. We have our first cargo ship being built. That's three that's influence. Our influence has increased, actually. So, what I'm going to do as well, really quickly. That's okay, sorry, I'm just... Uh, it tells you when you bought your own share as well, I guess, in that message. What we're gonna do out here is buy that ship. Are you finally embracing it? I just, I just like pirate ships. What can I say? And uh, we're gonna buy the rest of this gold. That'll be the last gold I buy. Four hundred and fifteen Thawi. See. Now all the money we make is gonna go just straight towards buying the share in Margaret's place. So we're just gonna send this back to the old world. That sets up our goldsmith for a very, very long time. By my count, what, like four, five hours? Five hours, I think, in total. 
So we should not have to touch gold for a long time. Coffee is something we're going to have to come back and get every now and then, but other than that, we should be okay. Uh, we're just going to leave a ship out here. She's got a quest as well. Let's see if we can do that. These people, they need a hero. Our last skirmish against La Corona cut things a bit too fine. We managed to sink their ship, but we were a bit too badly beaten ourselves to stay on the high seas a moment longer. We know they were carrying substantial shipment that would be gratefully or would be incredibly useful for us. We have to get to it before they do. Collection quest. Counting on you. Flotsam out here. Let's go. I'm sending all my ships out there. All my frigates. I love this music. I don't want to leave the session because I like the music too much. Let's have a look at our town over here then. They've got a little quest for me as well. Go on then. Solve this problem. Many of our comrades are still fighting against La Corona, but their supplies are running low and hunger is starting to wear them down. If you can spare some food, I can make sure it gets to them. I'm sure there is a way you can help What do you need? Thrive. 16 tons of fried plantains? That should be easy. We should have loads. Really? So there you go. Of course you could do what do you got for me? Fizz gigs, fabulous, fireproofing, failsafe. Affects all production buildings. And its maintenance cost will go up, but the chance of fire goes down 70%. That's all right. It might end up using it, but for now, we'll leave it. What I do plan on doing, actually thinking about it, is on our picking way. up... I don't remember making a gunboat, actually, ever. But um, picking up some of these things and taking them to the Cape Trelawney. It's so nice that you can select the individual island now. So off they go. We're going to bring all our animals to Cape Trelawney instead of a museum. Now, some people were saying... On a zoo. Some people were saying, oh, you know... If you're going to go farms, a museum or a zoo will look pretty weird out there. But we're, we're going to have a bit of both. We're going to have what I think is will be a very nice looking town in, in Crown Falls. Hopefully meeting the demand we have for people that want me to build out there. Um, seeing as the quest asks you to build quite like artisans and engineers and stuff, the quest out there, we'll give into it. But I'm not just going to build a mega town. I'm going to build what essentially I think will be a sort of a little Venice kind of situation. I'm going to build the entire town out on the four islands here. Actually, five, really. And I call them islands. It's really just, you know, the river obviously cutting through them. And I think that could look really, really cool. Having the artisans maybe up along near the... with the waterfalls as their backdrop and things like that. So it's actually de deceivingly a lot of space. You can get a lot of houses in here in all of these little places with bridges crossing and connecting into all of them. So I think that's going to look really cool. And then we'll use all this empty land out here for farmland. And uh, maybe around at the back out here we'll have where the museums and things can go, uh, and the zoo. I'll have a big public mooring somewhere here that leads, you know, in a big nice promenade all the way up to our showcase, uh, which is going to be a zoo and a museum and a botanical garden. Because they take up so much space that it makes sense to have it out here, I think. Uh, now, we might get a public mooring back on our own place as well in the future, but for now, that's kind of how I plan on doing it. So, the next thing I just want to check is... Let's have a look at uh, that current trade route and when the next ship is coming over. So well, I'm just constantly curious about that one. There it is. So we're, we're going to be bringing 15 pocket watches and 150 uh, penny farthings. So the very last time I'll do this, I'm just going to go over and count up how much that would be. So we can, as we continue to make bank. So 150 times... 2793 is 418,000. So it's basically 400, it's actually 419,000, really. 419,000, and then 15 times 13312. Uh, the pocket watches is 200,000. So basically, 600k is what we're going to be getting back. I did forget. I am supposed to buy one last lot of pocket watches from Archibald Bleak. Oh, did I not drop that off yet? Jeez, take your time. <laughs> Thinking about it now, we have our first uh, cargo ship, which is cool. Alright, I'll just have to do her quest now, because I don't have time to buy her share just yet. I was hoping we could do it. Oh, did I buy to bring one more than I needed? That's funny. All in Her Majesty's name. Uh, right, give me those pocket watches. How many can you give me? 50, 400,000 again? You I was peaceable. Go to Tabarine. 
All right, let's go take the photo of this ship to let um, Lady Margaret Hunt know what's going on here. Slip past the patrol. See, this is what I worried about. I thought there might be more to this quest. I shouldn't have left it so long. Slip past patrols to the cargo ship and pick up the detailed report. So I've got two ships on the way. Send this one as well, just in case. Let the sails fill. Okay, it's going to take my full attention for a moment. So I've got a ship coming down from here, actually. This one is going to be the one that makes it here first. So slip past those patrols. Okay. I don't know how they're not going to see this massive pirate ship incoming, but it looks Steer like we'll just about get behind them to the ship. We're going with the wind right now as Let well. The sails fill. All right, we got the detailed report. And where do we bring that? Steel bring it to her. Cool. Great. All right, good. This is our first cargo ship, the Constance. Uh, basically holds six different things. Could go on an expedition with that, maybe, actually. Might be a nice thing to do for our first cargo ship. Begin the turn. So we'll send it out here first. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to begin building. I think I've got everything in place now that I can just begin building Cape Trelawney out of it. Um, so let's have a look as well. Goods. How's that coffee doing? Yeah, fine. We've got plenty of time. Alright, so Cape Trelawney it is. Sorry, wrong one. There we go. Ready for a challenge. We've got that extra scrap. Just ditch all of this here for now. Where is actually my diving? Oh, they're all down here on the wrong island. Sure Alright, we handed that in. She's happy. Great. Ship of the line reporting in. Yeah, so our animals for the zoo is here. The sheet music. Our scrap. Alright, let's just send these all up here as well. Great. Alright, so I think I'm going to go into a bit of a time lapse now. Uh, and uh, sort this place out. Oh, did I forget to build road? A, a road, I did. I'm largely just going to be blueprinting first, and then as we start to bring everything up. So the first island we're going to do is this one, and start blueprinting out where I want things to go. Um, just for the bottom tier of worker residences and stuff like that, and then maybe as we start to get into artisans, we'll change it. So the quest at the moment is to build a church and attract eight, uh, 500 artisans. So... You've recovered Nadaski's journal, but its pages are barely readable. Exposing the fragile pages to a long sea journey would be too risky. Instead, you must make room for art restorers at Crown Falls. Alright, so that's what our goal is going to be. Oh wow, he's got a little uh, steamship as well. Alright, cool. Let's begin. So the first thing to do was just copy and paste all of that wood production out somewhere else and then delete it just to kind of leave our little island here clear and then also just put down some brick factories so we could get some bricks coming in over time uh, for paved roads and things like that later. That's uh, really nice to be able to actually kind of like now lay all of this out in just a giant blueprint mode and kind of decide where everything's going to go. Having like the freedom to do it with the money that we have and the goods that we can make really means that we get to just build from scratch, which is quite fun. So my basic idea for this area was to have multiple bridges kind of layered throughout the rivers and try to have them all going the same angle. If you build them all looking different directions, it can look a bit strange. Um, so this place is actually big enough to, I think, that we need two different marketplaces. Um, now, I've actually just realized in watching it back, something I forgot to leave room for was town halls. I think we could probably fit, fit two town halls as well, so I might make some space uh, in the next episode for that one, actually. Um, but I know that this area is largely just going to be workers, and then a bit further towards the waterfall is where I'm going to go with um, artisans, I think. So knowing that this is workers, I really just have to spec it for that. You know, we need a church, uh, a pub for the... It's also going to have farmers as well, I guess. Uh, church, pub, uh, marketplace, school, things like that. Uh, so no need for like a university variety theater or anything of that nature, at least in this area. Um, so I'm just doing little bits of quests and things here and there. You'll hear me talk about it. I actually forgot to do the quest in the New World and I let that one time out, unfortunately. Uh, apologies, but we'll get to that anyway, I guess. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, so generally just leaving room for ornaments, blueprinting it all out, uh, making some curvy roads, try not to have everything too uniform, I want it to be a little bit offset. It's easy to do that when you're building, 
You know, you'll notice I laid it out by building the houses on the outskirts first and then build in, and that kind of creates this staggered approach to building. If you build from the inside out, you'll end up just kind of making uniform grids or the placement will really make sense as you're kind of pushing out. Working from the outside in gives you just a much nicer feel to the city and just leaving those gaps for all the different bridges. I think the bridges look really cool. When we start getting more clay and stuff later, then we'll switch them to be stone bridges. They'll look quite nice. Um, and then obviously lots of room for ornaments and things like that a bit later. Uh, I started actually using the pinwheel here to drop them, which I'll talk about in just one moment. Okay, so I think that's pretty much how I want to lay it out. So I'll start filling this out over time. Um, but that's pretty much just going to be a villager and worker area for now. And then maybe a bit further as we get further in, we'll do artisans somewhere a bit further up. Uh, but that should give us a really good foundation of what we need to get started, I guess, with Crown Falls. And then we'll probably I'll probably start to remove some of this more uniform and blocky layout here. I think it, I think it looks good, though. Uh, probably need a couple extra roads here and there, but I've left room for ornaments and things. I've actually pinned this little area for when I'm going to be dotting around the ornaments in future. Uh, you can do that by right-clicking and then just grabbing the little lock symbol and then just dragging things onto it. So if I wanted, um, I don't know, houses here, I could just grab them there. It's like a little quick quick select, quick wheel kind of thing. Uh, pretty handy. I don't, I haven't actually used it at all in the series, but when I'm doing these like longer builds, it's, it can be good just to get some extra things you know you're going to use a lot of. I find ornaments can be kind of tedious to go back and forth getting all the time, especially with the paving and different things like that. So that's a, quite a nice little... Thing you can do. Now we have up to 1.5 million now from our different trades with Mbessa and we've got a new quest with Lady Margaret Hunt. So before we do this quest and read it out I'm actually just gonna buy one of her shares here in her main island uh, and see how she... well let's see what she feels about us right now. Actually we can just turn that off right now. Sometimes it is a pain to click away. There we go. Uh, so yeah let's just see what she thinks of us in diplomacy. So she's at 100, perfect time to do it, right? I mean, she couldn't be happier. So let's say, give me this one, please. 1.3 million. Silver will not save you. And that actually makes us 4,200 right now, share income. She didn't like it, negative four, but we can build back up to 100 again if we do this quest. Uh, so that was a lot of money. But yeah, photogra uh, photograph Her Majesty's residence at High Clarence Hall. Lady Margaret loves the royal residence at High Clarence Hall, aesthetically speaking. She's commissioned you to take a detailed picture of the place for ornamental purposes. Seems easy enough. I thought it was going to maybe lead to something else. You know what, let's take a nicer one. It's hard though, I can't, I can't exactly take- I guess I could take one from here, can I? Maybe not the best photo for her to see the uh, architecture. I know it literally doesn't matter, but you know. I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with them. This one's much better. Wise beyond your year. There you go. So it's brought us back up to 99. So she's happy. Good time to buy shares as well as when you got something like a non-aggression pact. Um... Because then they ain't got ain't gonna do heat against you. Uh, and in ten minutes we could buy another one if we manage to get the money together. I don't have any influence right now, but that's what Cape Trelawney is for. We can start building this area out now. So let's start off with the marketplace. Both marketplaces. And then we'll just, I don't know, go section by section. Something like that. Uh, but anyway, the basic idea here, I'm sure I talked about it in the uh, in the time lapse, is just to have these lovely little bridges kind of cutting across. Um, and they'll look really great when we upgrade them to be stone. So the only other thing I did was I put down a clay pit up here and two brick factories. With our current workforce, we had 100 workers already. The other thing I did as well as I failed a quest, my second quest that I failed, I just forgot about it. It was Isabella Sarmento's. It's, it's a kind of a pet peeve of mine that there isn't an option in this quest book to show you quests in every region. If you go to details, you can see them all here. Like, you've got places in other ones. But when you open up that quest book, it only shows you the current region. But I'd kind of like it if it just showed me everything, you know? Because I often forget. I'm like, oh yeah, I have that one in the other region. I haven't looked over there in a while. I know it's my problem. But, uh, still. I left the ships here. They would have been waiting to pick up that flot sound, but, yeah. Oh shit, she actually bought the shares back for me straight away. Damn. Pro move. 
Yeah, I can't do anything about that for seven minutes. Well played. I have to say, well played. I don't want to buy them from Arthur. He's too low on happiness right now. 68, yeah. If he was over that, I would. And Benty, I want her to stay strong, so we'll leave it. Uh, but with 1.57 million gold, we can look to... We've got another quest here. We can look to buy some items, maybe, from Eli Bleakworth. I fear I become entitled. When I couldn't see his red smock, I glanced up and understood my apprentice had gone. He says he prefers to be his own boss and to make his money on, at the theater. There are more wealthy people there than there are at my little shop, for sure. But perhaps I'm not so. Perhaps I'm no natural authority figure. Save me from this tortuous perplexity. He's wearing a red smock and he's at the theater, apparently. Could be the other theater. The better theater, let's be real. Hmm, I don't see him. Find and collect the artisan's apprentice. There he is. Rainbows follow you. Got him. A glass blower. Affects glassmaker's light bulb factory. Didn't get to see the last bit there. And lantern smith. Okay. Hold the crane. Um, should we queue up an expedition? We've got one available. Oh no, we've got loads available. Why does it say one though? One new one maybe. Not too sure. Um, <clears throat> we've been kind of doing zoological expeditions, so we can send the Constance out. Dime. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, so we need rations, hunting, naval power. Highly likely for naval power, really. Hostile ships on route. Okay, maybe we should add um, one of our pirate ships instead then. Oh, I forgot to drop off the gold. Yeah, let's do that instead. Maybe the Francis Drake can go on an expedition. It's kind of cool. I tis fair. All right, that's naval power at least. Obviously, we have less slots now, though. Um, is it just weapons that gives you naval power? Actually, maybe I should have just done that. Constructions. Naval power 30, naval power 15. We could just throw on a couple of advanced weapons onto the other thing. Yeah, let's just do that instead. So I think having more slots is just better. Ship Sorry. Shape. These are really expensive. I don't know if I should send these ones or these ones. We're full up on these, so let's send these. 50 of them. Uh, all right, so that's naval power. What else do you want? Hunting and faith. The stewardship is a great responsibility. I hope you are not overburdened. Disappointed I have... To oh yeah, that's fine. How does coffee give you force? I don't really get that. It'll keep your crew happy during... Okay. Stay alert, it just says. Uh, hunting. Hunting and faith. Hunting is the fur coats, isn't it? Unless I have an item as well, of course. Uh, and then faith. Yeah, let me have a look at my items. Sorry, I should be... I can, I can never remember these things. I never look at these things, to be honest. Let's see what goes in ships and see if we can bring anything there. That's naval power again and navigation. Let's throw him in anyway. Oh, does he not go on the ship? Usable in ships. Oh, he's only in military ships. Oh, interesting. I don't know what you put down there then. Stuff like this, is it? Yeah. Okay, we put one down there. Why not? Uh, okay, so let's see what we got. We have hunting here, navigation, and diver. Let's do that. And then someone for faith. Um, I know the pelican, if we had it. We don't have it anymore. I sent it off to the other place. Would give us faith. Yeah, no faith there. So I'll just have to add some goods. And I think it's bread that gives you faith. Faith and rations. All right, let's do that. Sorry, it took so long there, but send it off. More than ready. So at 1.58 million, let's see. Ah, oh, this quest just disappeared from here. Actually, damn. You're looking for something, and I can help you find it. Yeah, I'm looking to see what kind of items I can buy. On our way. We have to send our ships back out to these areas. 
Oh, this one's here already. I'm All right, what do you got, Eli Bleakworth? So, he is that lady again. We already have her. Um, provides needs. Residents are provided with a school. Nope. Affects fire station stations. Extinguish speed is increased and range increased. 108,000. Uh, not seeing anything too good. We'll re-roll for 5,000. It's not too expensive. Hunting cabin. Reduced maintenance. Is it only Affects all mines and quarries. 50% increase. Reduced. Or is there some truth to <laughs> these funny. rumors about her past? Reduces the work face of mines and quarries. That's cool. It's just they're always so separate, so I never feel like that's worth it. Here we go. Now we're in. Now we're talking. Mr. Garrick, founder of the Entrepreneur's Gentleman's Club. Affects engineer's residence and investor residence. Bonus income, five. Residents provide bonus income from a bank. Residences with the bank's supply fulfilled are provided with pocket watches and jewelry. Uh, yes. Hell yeah. And what about this? Um, Salima, the shipping operator. It's equipped in ships. Trade prices are reduced 10%. Loading speed is 60% increased. Uh, yeah, let's go with her. We could add her and buy the gold, or we could buy pocket watches and sell them to Mbessa. And at least that way, that cuts down on our costs a bit. 10%. It saves 40 grand, actually. More, really. Um, residences give you bonus income from having a school. Just go with these two for now. And uh, my cat's just jumped up and blocked the... Okay, So what I'm doing here is I'm going to send this ship up to here. And uh, we're going to trade uh, Salima onto the Clipper and then buy up as much pocket watches as we can and send them east. What just happened, by the way? Where, where did all our money... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, where did all our money go? We just spent a half a million. That's where it went. It's okay. But they were kind of rare items, which is good, though. Good to get them. Finally, I'm we're here. getting some if you ever really high-tier stuff. Albeit somewhat arthritic. Uh, I can tell you're searching Anything? for something. A treasure hunt map, that would always be nice. We should start doing a few more of these. Yes, I am. Uh, equipped in green, uh, gives you grain fertilities. Equipped in a zoo, geckos. It's not part of any um, thing, though. Red pepper seeds. Red pepper seeds. Do we have red peppers over on Cape Trelawney? We don't. That might be nice to get them. Can I help you? And the treasure map as well. Forty-four thousand. So this is a treasure map for the old world and one for Trelawney. Okay. Aye. Hmm. Getting a bit messy actually the way I've divided that. Uh, so I'll have to drop the old world one off here, I guess. Oh, I could just activate it now, couldn't I? Oh, I won't do that just in case I don't get here in time. All right, we're negative five thousand. That's not good. Why is that? I think our vaccine's probably worn off. No, it's still going. Right, negative 80 because we had a disease. Ruins out here, what the hell happened? Oh, they weren't connected to the road properly. I'm guessing it's just royal taxes maybe from having more stuff. I don't think I've run out of supply of anything. We'll s I'll have to keep an eye on it, see if anything fluctuates like crazy, but I feel like I would have noticed. Uh, well, either way, let's just keep making more. <laughs> wow. We not out Huge area. Enough. Reporting. So that's great, and now I can just get rid of all these. And my critics say I don't take enough risks. He's buying shares. I don't think so. Reserve this space for the future. So, with that many things, um, I'm guessing we're going to need more fish and... Well, no, we're still fine. Even one... Wow. Even with all those houses. <laughs> Good, I guess. Cool. It's kind of coming together. We get that pub going. And um, we also need to get uh, schnapps. So, we'll just for, again, temporary sake, we'll just build, I don't know, two of them. Two of these, and another one of these. 
we're taking every care. Then we'll start making those steam motors and come out here with tractors and stuff. In fact, we should be making more ships, really. All right, anyway, our population should start coming back up a bit with that and um, growing up a little bit more, and then we can start getting workers. It's cool. I think it looks nice, though, this area, just the fact that it's on its little island. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can do some diving bell stuff. Any items? Do you any, any Cape Trelawney ones? There's one, and there's another one. Great. So let's do these two now. So, people had pointed out to me in the comments that I've been doing this all wrong, of course. How we long to get back to the blue. Aye, aye. Yeah, so what I didn't know was that... So first of all, some people... Let's see, actually, I think I have some comments saved. Did anyone mention it? Yes, yeah, so... Uh, Kevin Kappener said, okay, the treasure maps have a compass on them, so you can align your camera to face north, so you can get the right island. It's helped me find the diving spots much easier. And a few other people mentioned this as well. I just want to note the time that I said that. Okay. Uh, a few other people mentioned this as well and said you should use the trade screen, so you can see the island's bigger. Now, I actually did that. I actually just ended up cutting it out, because I spent quite a bit of time, <laughs> maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, looking at different islands. For a few things, and I just cut that out because that episode was running very long. But uh, yeah, it's good to use the screen. The thing I didn't know was, yes, you can just... I, what I didn't know was it's all north-facing. I just assumed it wasn't. So obviously you can just hit the little N symbol there, or you can press the home home button uh, key on your keyboard, and that will reorientate things back to north. And then you can just check over all the islands, and you should, you should find it much quicker as well that way. Uh, so let's see if it helps us. Well, I think we actually latched onto one straight away. There we have somewhere down here. Now, in the old world, we can activate this right now, can't we? Patreon? Yeah. So that's three of them that we've got ready to do over there. Um, before I guess we do that, I have to queue up one last thing, sorry. Attention for the Admiral. Let's drop her there. This guy now was for... Yeah, he can go back here. The royal seal upon right. it. Right, and now we can buy pocket watches. So 1.1 million. And we make 600,000 profit off this, I think. When we get to Mbessa. More, actually, because she had that reduced prices, I think. I should have checked against that. Sir, I'm, I'm pretty sure, actually, yeah, because... How may I 8320. Was it 8320 before? I'd have... To, I don't know. 8320 there. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have the 10% off. Nice. Oh, that's great. Cool. Even bigger profits then. Bigger gains. Off you go. It's an investment. Shame about the money, though, but at least we're making loads. Um... Okay, so, while that's off now, making its money, we can do our dives. See if we can get any good items. I didn't actually even check where this one is. Three different maps. It could be any of them. <laughs> Let's just get a bit closer. Oh, there it is. I think it's right. Right tucked in here. Yep. Providing chaperones. All right, cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take this to Nate, do some transmutation, transmuting, and see what we get. A great moment for all of us. Cool. We've got a bronze helmet and some more scrap. Nothing too crazy. Uh, so if we just Work fix our shortage. camera and look for this island. I think it's this one? Nope. <laughs> See, it's, it's not going to be that easy for me, because I'm stupid. I think it might be this one, then. Yeah. Room and where was it? At the bottom of it. So it should... Yeah, there it is, right there. Cool. Nice. Um, I maybe should have bought those shares again, actually, thinking about it. 
But I'm out of the money I need now. Until we sell that last bit in Mbessa, maybe I'll try buy her shares again. She's still really happy with us, so... Sorry, I keep clicking the wrong things in this episode today. She's still really happy. 99, I mean. She should be fine. As long as we have that non-aggression and stuff, I think it'll be all good. Um, so yeah, so while that's going on, I think... God, the disease is still running rampant, is it? Oh yeah, I just remembered something. I think I know why the money went down. I think they've run out of fur. Yes. Uh, so in the time lapse, there because of the disease, uh, I paused one of the ships because it was it had flu on it. It was moving back and forth. Also, we got a. Uh, we need another pier here. Probably need another two more piers or so. Why can't we build that? Can't be placed there. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick it there for now. We cannot all be saved. Yeah, it's like moved over as much as it can, actually. This one can move over a bit more, no? Can they not stick out on their own? I'm so confused with what's going on right now. Just move this for a second. Right. So how f you can't go out that far. Oh, you can. Then I don't know what the issue was a second ago. All right. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Oh, come on. I thought I just did it right. God damn. Oh, I know what the issue is. It's because it's there already. It's like it's blocking itself. It's silly. We're out of bricks now. And I'll obviously join that back up. Um, okay, and then do the same over here, really. Actually, for now, until I clean up this dock, I'm going to make it look nicer in the future, but right now I'm just going to throw in a couple more piers just right here. Ship of the line reporting in. So this can go to Cape Trelawney now, can't it? Yep. More than ready. And he can drop off his stuff. Nice. Okay, anyway, so last thing we're gonna have a look at is yeah, just getting these last few dives One more dive to go after this to see what we get You're a canny herring. And then In between episodes, I'll probably look at like what we can transmute because we got lots of scrap We just need to like give some items over now uh, so this is the last island here. Very looks like a small one with two beaches either side. Uh, so let's see where that is. A small one with two beaches either side. We have the devil to pay. Hmm. The epidemic spreads across your city. I might need to look around manually. Might not be small. There's big mount there's mountains on it. There it is. Found it. All right, cool. The there it is. Nice. That'll be the last thing we do. Uh, so epidemics, eh? Can we sort this out? Can we get a second hospital or something? Jeez. Constant epidemics. We don't have any ships that are sick, do we? Not immediately. It doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, I don't really know where I'd put a second hospital at the moment. We've got one here. I guess just another one, like, a bit further back. One up here would be kind of cool, but it would be kind of far away. Maybe a hospital at the back of the university. Maybe that will still lower the chance overall, I'm not too sure. We'll try it there for now, and, um... Just build a road down this way. A little bit of a temporary place, but that gives us at least two hospitals, coverage of all these buildings. They've never been sick. It's always down here. 
I'm guessing because it's more cluttered. I wonder do ornaments count as like, you know, density and stuff. Because I I never really ever had sickness like reoccur that often. And I built pretty compact cities before. But this time I'm using lots of ornaments and I'm getting sick. I don't know if it's just a recent patch or, you know, like what's causing it. It says it says here, um, well, it's in action right now. It the tells you what left causes sickness. It's reduced when all needs are satisfied. Dense cities are more prone to illness. Yeah, it just says dense cities. Okay. It looks like it's a bit lower. That's just done now. So that's gone a bit down. Yeah, not really, though. Like, how many hospitals would you need to have? Quite a lot. That's the same with the fire. It's like, no matter what I do, it's like, oh, well, fire chance is huge. Doesn't matter how many fire stations you have. Mind you, there hasn't been a fire out there, so that's good. Consumer goods. Did I have a limit on this? I do have a limit on that. That's good. We're still selling some to Madame Kahina. I wonder what the um, consumption rate on that is. Oh, it's great. We're over, way overproducing. That's because we have that item that gives us... We only have to use wool. Alright, uh, back to Sunken Treasures. We can just check in really quickly with our new little island project and see... Uh, how the demands are holding up. So, they've got plenty of schnapps, plenty of fish, and plenty of clothes, so we can keep upgrading. And then we can have a look and see what they need now. So a little bit more fish, and that's it for now. And then I'll get every house built we can here, and then we'll start upgrading them to uh, workers. Uh, we've had some ruins, so I forgot to extend that road out. Generally speaking, no other ruins though. A little bit down here could happen. Be careful. All right, let's check now. Fish is still fine. Schnapps getting a little tight, and cl so are clothes. I don't want uh, roads connected to the police station. We're going to build a wall around the back of it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right. Last bit then will be out here. We're just about out of wood now. Let's get those ones done. More runes out here. Cool. I think it looks cool. I think it's going to look great. It's going to look great. Especially when we fill it out, fill the gaps with trees and parks and things. Oh, I do need a road out here if I want to have... Still or do I? There we go. Damn. Leaving little gaps. Alright, diving bell time. Big money, big money, big money. Let's see what we get. A great moment for all of us. So I got some stuff for the museum. A little bit of extra scrap. Uh, and that's all of those um, treasure maps done, but there is something apparently out this way. And then last thing to check really would be Embassa. We've actually got a quest here, separate quest. Ship hasn't arrived yet, I don't think. The one that's coming over with all the pocket watches. Oh, it's just about there now. Good, it's on the edge. So we'll do that final sale, and that should be it. That should allow us to buy Margaret's. The trustees are only too happy to help. Um, share again. For all you've done. A lack of material wealth should never hold us back from doing great deeds. I want to donate a small amount to help you keep on your feet. <laughs> Sometimes when we run a little short on funds, we worry about relying too much on others. All I intend with this gift is to negate that sort of awkwardness in the future. Your ship has returned. A little from gift its for me. Voyage. We just have to sail out to her. I'll sail with a big Let fat pirate ship out to her. Our efforts. Better have. Right, good, we still have the soap and beer going. It's great. 
Right. Pocket watches galore? No? Ah, it's the um, red pepper farms. So that'll be great for when we want to set up uh, canned food and stuff. We can do it all self-sufficiently here. Uh, speaking of, we have um, not been delivering the fish properly. Can't wait. Can't wait to get this place up and running. Weigh me to the bottom. Hey, 11,000. We grew by about 1,000 uh, population and our influence is coming up nicely. We can start putting down more trade unions and things like that. Cause. She wants to give me something. I yes, to give it to me. Exactly <laughs> like you. Thanks, 25,000. I'll take it. Uh, and the other thing then I want to check is how's our trade route to Ambassa going? What's it loaded up on? 30 pocket watches and 86 penny farthings. That's not bad, 30 pocket watches. So that's that's basically how much it'll take, we'll gain doing a full trip back and forth, 30 pocket watches. Now that's done its full journey. So that's pretty cool. Yep, pocket watches are nearly there now. And our little sale price is, is gonna help uh, dramatically, I think with that. All right, uh, so yeah, so we're just going to keep focusing on Cape Trelawney then the next episode, I think, um, just and while this one's coming to an end. I just want to say thanks again for all the support. I'm sorry I missed the day. Uh, I should really say it at the beginning, but the episode, a lot of people still don't know. I said it in episode one, but I should really reiterate it. I, I would forget as well if I was just watching. It's basically every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, uh, but I missed an episode. A lot of stuff's going on for me at the moment. Good stuff, though. I'm moving uh, apartment and, uh, you know, coming up to Christmas and stuff, there's... It's just a lot of my attention has been taken away and I'm banking videos for when I go to, I'm going over to Ireland just for a few days. I live in my, I'm from Ireland originally. So I'm going over there to see my family and my dog um, for a while uh, for the, for the holidays. So just all those little things have just put a little bit of extra pressure and I start, I'm starting to miss days every now and then. I'm really annoyed about it um, because with the Stellaris Let's Play, I almost never miss a day. I think I missed one out of 60. Uh, but this one has taken me... I've already missed Hi. two now, and we're far less uh, volume of episodes so far. So, my deepest apologies. Uh, sincerely, though, I don't like being irregular, you know, I like it to be there so people can rely on it. Because I've been there when podcasts are late or whatever, the thing that you want to get you through the day and stuff like that, it can be annoying. So. And this one's going to be coming out quite late tonight. But I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hit the episodes all over Christmas and not miss anything as well. For those who maybe aren't going home or maybe spending it on their own or just not really doing anything too special because of COVID and everything. Still want to get those regular stuff uh, episodes out. Almost 2 milli. Look at that. 2.65 milli. <laughs> nice. I wonder, does she give us a benefit to how much... No, it just says tr trade price is negative 10%. Yeah, but I wonder, is it also buying price? Like selling prices? 10% in our favor. That'd be cool. Because it seemed to be higher than I thought. I'd have to look back on that. Anyway, last thing I want to do is just buy up that... Uh, buy up her share. Again. She might just buy it to back. Share in reward, but if I keep that money now... In pain. And I just step on her again in 10 minutes, then maybe that would be good. She's at 93. Let's see what else we can do. Can we give her a gift? Would you like that? 100,000? High I chance. I know you were sympathetic okay. to our cause. And a medium high chance what we could flatter her. What an independent her? mind yeah. you have. What a lovely bun you have. Um, that's what I would say. There we go. So 95 with the I aunt the and 97 service. with the niece. They help me Excellent. All right. I think we did a lot in this episode. Look at that. We're ending positive. <laughs> uh, it is heavily based on share income, but at least, I mean, that's still good. Still valid. All right. Still valid. Well, the share income is trickling down a little bit. And uh, yeah, we did a lot actually in Trelawney as well. We did a lot in our getting our steam motors up and running. In fact, just before I forget, because I no doubt will, just going to build that last uh, cargo ship, another cargo ship. That's three influence. And then I'm going to get an oil tanker. And we're going to hopefully in the next episode set up getting more oil and doing some bright harvest stuff over at Cape Trelawney, I think. That uh, could be quite cool. And see what we can transmute also. So this area is just about done. Let's just finalize it. That's it. 
And then we're going to pave these roads like an MFR. So pretty cool. There we go. Crown Falls, our little first little island. And then we're going to build these separate ones as well and have all our farms at the other side. Uh, and if we just check our consumer goods on all of this, we are low on schnapps, low on clothes now, but we can fix that obviously really, really easily. That's that's literally all we've got for it and sustaining it, so it's kind of crazy. All right, that's going to be it. I'm just going to, yeah, let's pause it, actually. Uh, again, thank you for the support in the series. Hope everyone is having a good, ho or ha coming up to having good holidays and having a nice break uh, as well. And uh, yeah, just thanks for all the kind words. Uh, did I get to... Yeah, I've got a couple of the comments. I think I'll I've got them saved. I'll address them in the next episode, actually, um, as they're not necessarily pertinent to this one. Again, thanks for the support, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.